Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. Utilize Squarespace email campaigns to drive sales and engage your audience. Introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, announce upcoming sales, or send out a discount code. There are built-in analytics to measure the impact of each send. They have such flexible website templates, it's so easy to get started by choosing a template and then customizing it to look and do whatever it is you need or want. And a huge help is their analytics system. This is where you can gather and use all kinds of insights to aid in helping to grow your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash Olivia Rizzolatte to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> uh, um, it's the start of a new week. Happy Monday. I am ready for work. Um, I'm wearing my Daisy Jones in the six. Aurora tour. And yeah, this is it for us, buddies. I am exhausted. <laughs> I did not want to get up, I'll tell you what. Thankfully, it's just a teacher work day today, so um, no clue what I'll be doing, but I'll be there. So emotionally and uh, make copies. Lee, support the uh, the educators of our youth. And I'll be bringing my headphones in case that support can be listening to an audiobook. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I really got into House of Bane and Blood last night. I'm like 30, over 30% in. And I think I'm just gonna read that. I think that's gonna be my read because I have, I've just charged my iPad and I do have to bring that with me. So if I have time during like lunch in the such, which I will because I don't do anything else during lunch, I will read that. This is, I need to go get my hair cut. I don't like, I don't like, but I should have done that last week or the week before, not now when I can't really do anything. I guess I could just take a day off. Like we should take more days off, honestly. I didn't realize people do. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Anyways, I told myself I wasn't gonna get coffee. I was like, oh, Olivia, just make it at home. That was so cute. It's raining outside, and now it's six in the morning and I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm gonna go get a coffee, so. Cut to the Dutch Bros roll up. Okay, hi, hello. So I am obviously in my car on break. It is raining and I'm using this little guy camera thing. So I don't know how good it's gonna be. I'm still definitely getting used to it. Oh. The heck? Maybe I need to go further over here. Uh, anyways, I, yeah, I'm definitely getting used to this. It's, it's gonna have to take a moment. It's gonna have to take a moment, let's say that. I don't know if the actual, like, oh, now they're being closed in my backseat. I don't know if the camera quality, the camera quality is good, I think. 
on this little screen it looks good but i don't know if the sound quality is going to be the best so i may have to do this like a little voiceover thing which is fine because y'all seem to like the little voiceovers but y'all can we talk about the fact that that blog from last week is an hour and 46 minutes i can't get over it uh but i did decide monday was going to be my treat myself day and i got sonic I just get cheese sticks and I get, um, what is it called? Tater tots. So that's all that's in there. But I did get a, I did get a drink. I'm trying not to drink as much soda, but it just sounded so good. Okay. And it was that, or I was going to go try and find a coffee place. And I didn't want to try to find one because at work, I only have so much time on break, but I'm going to read some of spells for forgetting. That is the book we're starting the week off with. And then I'm going to watch some YouTube and yeah, that's it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys at home. Hello guys. So hi. Um, hi for the first time if the update with my new camera did not work out well. <laughs> Hopefully it did though. And hi for the second time. If it did work out, can you? Nope. Too bright. Don't feel like adjusting it. Um, okay. So, as you can see, just got home and Jake's losing it. I need to put on some patches. So we're gonna start this day. No, no, we're not starting it. We're gonna end this day how we started this day. In the uh, bathroom, updating the vlog. So, I am almost 40% into House of Bane and Blood now, and it is fine, but it is not amazing. It is not like the best thing I've ever read. I've definitely read more intriguing ones and better written ones. Uh, the main issue with this one, this is like the steampunk Stop. It's like if a mafia romance was in a steampunk fantasy world. Uh, it is... Jake! Quit! Every time it's cold, he's just like... Ah, ah, ah. The heating pad is literally on. He just doesn't go to it. I don't know what to tell him. So anyways, it's just... This has so much potential to be interesting and fun and fresh and cool. And we are not fun, we are not fresh, we are not cool. Okay, fine. It's not that bad, actually. It is kind of a fun, it's a kind of interesting premise, so it's worth reading. And it is entertaining, which again, is my main reason for reading, which is why I'm continuing on. But I have to say, this dialogue is cringy, and I'm probably not going to continue on to the next book unless I just cannot handle the ending of this one and I need to read the second one, because it is very cringy like just some of the dialogue i'm like these characters are so cool and you have them built up to be so like bad a and then all of a sudden they say these cringy things and i'm like oh okay also my camera is dying so i have to go anyways but i'm gonna get changed and i'm gonna keep reading spells for forgetting because it's super gross and cold outside and that sounds nice so yeah did you want some attention did you want to tell the people what's going on oh really Jake, no way. So it turns out he's afraid of his sister. Look at her. She's terrifying. The scary, scary bean. Okay, so I just did a real quick, quick <laughs> sweep of everything. We're going to put these out soon but not yet and yeah I just have my work bag here because I'm not really gonna feel like keeping on getting that out and then I have my little camera bag there but uh, when we get flowers from Trader Joe's again I'll feel complete that's gonna be the truth of it all and then those two glasses I just need to put back up in the counter but they're drying off because they're hand wash only and then yeah that's we're good there but let me show you where we're not good. What you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewers discretion is advised. <laughs> Can you tell I grew up watching 2020 and Dateline? 
Um, so for everyone asking, this is from Bade Sofa. I worked with them a little while ago, but because I put this guy in the cleanup thing, I had a few people ask. Yeah, it's fantastic. And yes, I actually really genuinely recommend this is not sponsored. That one was. This is not. I actually have it and I like it. <laughs> but I want to show you my closet because we're about to attack it. So I'm not showing you the portion that is on this side right here because that is my partner's clothes. Therefore, not, not anything I can control and not a mess I made. <laughs> it's actually not messy at all. There's literally one hoodie that just needs to be hung up. And that's it. It's so frustrating. I'm a mess though. So the entire other half of this closet is built out and looks beautiful and organized and then there's me. So these are all just, I just need to clean them. Like they're all clean clothes. I just need to put them in their place. However, these are all my Lululemon half zip. Those are sports bras. This is more work clothes kind of stuff. This is work cardigans, outside clothes, and then pants. I want to make this entire drawer, not all of these, but I do want to hang up my, what are those called? Jeans. <laughs> so I have these pairs that are here, and then I have these pairs here. And I want to hang them up here, and then have my Lululemon ones, and then fold everything else and put it in here. All of the hoodies, crewnecks, that stuff, I want it in one big old drawer. And I decided that that's the way I wanted to go because I had them in separate little drawers and have them hanging up and I just don't wear them because all I see is this color, but they're not plain. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I want to know what's on them, but I can't know what's on them unless I move them. And that's too high up for me. Like that's not within reach. I'm 5'2", that's like seven foot everything. So it's too high. It's not seven feet tall, but it is, it feels like everything. So yeah, I'm going to, why I'm showing you this is because today we're not doing this. First of all, ew. But second of all, I saw someone on TikTok. Here, we can talk to each other. We don't need this now. So guys, gals, non-binary pals, let's talk. I saw this yeah, you're gonna, yeah, 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 a lifestyle influencer <laughs> who, uh, you can probably guess her name starts with Mama and ends with Kenna, uh, cause I've been watching her a lot lately, but she bought, hello, these like little hangy things that I think you use for, I don't know what clothes, but someone, something else's clothes, smaller clothes, maybe if they're like kid size hangers, I don't know but you use them to hang matching sets. And I thought about doing that, but I was like, mm, mine are fine being in a, being folded. It's not that big of a deal. But, but I did like her idea for jeans, which is also a smaller holder. So I need to order those to hang them up because it's either the jeans get hung or the sweatshirts get hung. And the jeans, I know what I wanna wear with those. Like those, I don't need to be able to take them down to see them. I know which is which. With the crew neck, so I like to fold them and face out like the thing, the chest basically, so I either know if there's something on there or if there's not something on there. And then it looks great. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I just wanted to update you so you can see the before and then Sometime after work this week or maybe this weekend, they'll get in here and I will link them if they're great. I will tell you if they're not. <laughs> but yeah, now I have cleaned up. I did the dishes. I cleaned off the counters. I just kind of brought in some stuff into the closet. I haven't fully completed the laundry because I just honestly have no more room to put anything in the closet until I get those jeans organized and then I have that space back again. And then... I will be able to finish up the laundry and all that jazz. But for today, I do need to finish reading because like I, well now I'm home, I need to do like other work. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. Hi Cheeky. Do you like the new camera? Yeah. You're a fan? Oh, 
How do you feel? Why did Jake drag slobber all over the carpet? That doesn't look good. Yeah? She said, touchdown. <laughs> You're so cute. Take me to your leader. Look at her just leading me to the food bowl. Hello, Roger, Roger, coming in, coming in. Where's my book? I started this. Come here, come here. We gotta talk. We have a lot to talk about. Whoa. Someone on my TBR video said, girl, get ready. You're about to meet your new favorite character. We're actually gonna let this white out this side of my face. Hi, Gingy. Yeah because I have a little breakout happening on my chin and last time that happened. <laughs> so we're gonna just avoid that. Um, yes, girl. I need to get these books out cause I gotta take them back to the library soon. <laughs> Anyways, this one. So I don't know it. I, can I talk? I don't know anything about this. I don't know the plot of this, and that is how I would suggest going in, because being confused is so fun. I love that in books. That's part of the allure to me for mysteries and thrillers, is to know like, okay, is it domestic? Is it sci-fi? Is it futuristic? Is it just a plain old thriller? Is it psychological? What are we doing? And then just go in. This is a sci-fi mystery-esque thing that's happening so far based on what I've read and I am into it. I'm into it. I'm listening to the audio. Don't worry. I did listen to you guys and I think that also adds to it because it's like what's going on in the house of commons. Like it is crazy cuckoo town and I'm so into it. So I'm about to be on chapter three, legitimately only 30 pages in. But what I know so far is our character wakes up and is like, where am I? What year is it? Where, where am I? Again, repeats. And still, oh look, this is like the perfect bookmark for it, I feel. Like with the moons. He <laughs> get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Okay. So, just woke up trying to understand where he is and we're getting flashbacks that slowly build up our understanding as well as his understanding of where he is and why he's there and what we're doing. And it is done so well. Now, the thing that y'all were right about is that I was gonna love this character. We already knew it. First of all, can we talk about how the narrator sounds like Tom Hanks? I was very confused. But this character is not giving Tom Hanks at all. Like, love Dan Brown, love Robert Langdon, young Tom Hanks forever is Robert Langdon in my brain, in my noggin, okay? But, this character does have similar vibes to a Robert Langdon, I'll say, but more clever and more sarcastic. Although I will also say the movies didn't do him justice. So if you've only seen the movies, read the books because he is clever and he is funny and I love Robert. However, speaking of Roberts, Robert Downey Jr. is this character to me. Hear me out, follow me along. Basically, if you took Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, and you took away the huge ego and need to like prove himself and all that stuff, you would get Robert Downey Jr. And then I think that's the perfect version of this of this character. Like he plays it perfectly. At first I was picturing Matthew McConaughey, y'all, because honestly it makes the most sense because he's been an interstellar, so I can picture him in his little suit. He's not the same kind of like sarcastic and witty as Robert is. You know, maybe it's a Robert thing. I don't know. But, oh, I gotta charge my phone. Anyways, I am really enjoying this. And I also wanted to come to you to update you about this book, House of Bane and Blood, because we have, let me put this down because this is a good one. You don't need to be in the same frame as that one. Uh, she's been DNF'd at 50%, which yes, technically was over 200 pages, so it counts to my goal, but I wish I hadn't done this. This book has everything I should like. Uh, truly, it's essentially a mafia romance in a fantasy land with mystery and intrigue involved. I should like this, I should enjoy this, and yet I didn't at all because 
this felt like I was I was literally laying in bed explaining this to my partner. I should have just recorded it last night. Although my initial thoughts were not very well strung together and probably not the nicest because I was just mad that I wasn't liking it, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I feel like this book essentially was written for the vibes and it was also like we were just going scene to scene and if the scenes happen to connect play into each other and play a bigger role in things super cool but were we aiming for that no so it felt like each scene was plotted and then we wrote a book to string the scenes together it wasn't that the whole book was plotted and thus the scenes were born and i also feel like you don't have to plot out the entire book i know a lot of authors don't do that i would argue that works better if you're in a like general fiction a romance those like a lit fit kind of thing with a thriller mystery and then i feel personally for a fantasy you really can't do that in the same way because you're doing a lot well mystery and thriller is kind of like duh you really can't i can see you getting the twist and then working backwards but i i really think you have to still plot ahead of time for a fantasy romance even more so than a fantasy i would dare say because you're juggling a lot to do it well you're doing a lot you have to do what a fantasy book does which is build up a world a magic system why we even care about these things that are happening in the world unless you're just doing like a low fantasy backdrop vibe like crescent city then i guess you don't have to but those books are so long so she still did but anywho with the characters then you have to like build up who they are and why they're in the situation they're in and then build up a like reasonable believable love story between them like that is a lot of moving pieces and i feel like she had an aesthetic a dream and a laptop and she went for it and honestly don't hate her for it like i do think it would benefit from some look at the dialogue maybe and really deciding what the tone is we want of this world because we were like having the tone of the world be peaky blinders it was dark it was bleak it's very violent there's a lot of gang activity and gang members and all these warring factions and it's supposed to be so intense like that and then you effectively have people using language i literally hear my middle schoolers say and it's like Pray tell, Thomas Shelby would never utter these words, okay? And so I really feel like checking w if, the, if the tone and the dialogue are aligning with one another because the world building was one way and then the dialogue kind of backtracked it and I didn't like it. I didn't think it was good. And then, I don't know. I also wasn't loving, the, the pacing of the romance wasn't good either. It was very much insta something. I don't even know what, but it was definitely that because they hate each other. They're from like two different gangs. So of course they hate each other. And then all of a sudden she's comfortable enough for like, I won't even say cause it's a scene that happens, but it's 50% through. They haven't made any progress. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh wait, we should have made progress. So let me just enter this scene that makes it make progress. It's like, no girl, that's the scene that you build up to. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> So anyways, DNF'd it, won't be going back, won't be reading the sequel. That's that on that. I will be, however, continuing on with Spells for Forgetting and Project Hail Mary. And I'm excited about it. I think that this is, I could, what have you done, Andy? Two decade career as a software engineer. Oh, nice. Um, I could definitely see this being a, um... A fave. I could, I could see it. I think when I begin to buy my, the books that I want to buy at the end, uh, this would be one of them. I could definitely see that occurring, like, at the end of the year after not buying books for a long time, and then buying the books that I read that I wanted to add to my shelves, I could see this already being one, because I just love the tone of this one is really working for me. And then for Spells of, of Forgetting, it's another vibe-based book, but in a good way. Like, that's how you do a vibe-based book. Like, everyone's just sad and moping and miserable and it's rainy and it's cold and murr. Like, everyone's upset. And I like it. I don't like it for them, but I like it for me. I like the vibes. So, that's the little reading update there.
And closet update, because I mentioned that yesterday, I know. I did order these jean hanger things because I saw a viral way to hang the jeans and then I looked into how they actually did it. They look cute once hung. First of all, too much work. I know realistically I won't do that with every pair of jeans. Y'all saw the stock of laundry that I have in there now. It's not going to happen. And then, second of all, it just looked like it wasn't good for the jeans. I don't have any proof of that. I don't even have any knowledge to know if that's true or not. But I feel like it's true, so I'm just not going to do it. So I bought these ones that it's like this little rod and it has these metal rods that are out like that and you just hang the jeans over like you just fold them over which is good for me because I want to see what the jean like the cuff looks like obviously the color and then I'll be able to reach the tag at that point and I can just see which like if it's an ankle straight if it's a boot if it's a whatever I can see that and that's really the stuff I need to be able to see on the jeans so with that being said I will attempt that, but I am not going to do that today because it's Real Housewives of Salt Lake City reunion. So I want to just read my little book. I want to go take a shower. It's hair wash day. And then I want to continue to read my book and then watch Salt Lake City. And that's all I want to do. So that's all I'm going to do for the day because I already have my vlog edited and I don't have to worry about that right now. So that's really nice. Oh. Sorry, Ginger reminded me. I will be feeding her um, with quickness or else. Look at this. Look at this. What? No. Oh, really? And then what? Oh, you're not going to play these games? No. <gasps> Ginger. How can you say such things? Not you turning your back on me. Not you turning your back on me. Oh, guys, uh, everyone's been talking about it because this is what we talk about in the South, the weather. Uh, it's supposed, oh, that was an awful angle. Hey, we're gonna just put this one right here. Uh, it's supposed to get like the lowest six. Six? Sorry I got in your face, but I had to. It's gonna be six degrees on Tuesday. Whether or not there's a precipitation, if it's six degrees, I'm not leaving my home. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But all these people were like, oh, it's fine. As long as it doesn't like actually snow, then we'll still be at school. And I'm like, have y'all heard of its best friend ice? We will not be at school. I'm not attending. First of all, my car's not four wheel drive. Second of all, I'm not four wheel drive. Third of all, I have to take the highway to get there. Whoa. That's not happening. Do you see that? My even my tripod is like no girl. No girl. Okay, let's go shower. Seriously? Girl. Hello weekly vlog, hello weekly vlog, you have a hair on your lens. No you don't. Honestly this lighting is going to be the death of me because it looked good when I first sat down and now it looks like trash garbage fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And who is this visitor? That is gracing us in the middle of this freaking clip, that's embarrassing. Also do I have a hair clip? What a silly question. Of course I do. You're on my um, side table, so. Easy, easy pickings for anything that I need right now, honestly. This book, y'all, 
<laughs> it's so good. I am loving it. I think I picked this up at exactly the right time and it has exactly the right vibes. It's so entertaining. And I am absolutely loving the storytelling styles that it has taken on. And hey, who's she escaping into the wild? Um, I'm really liking it. I'm really, really liking it. It is so funny. He's so chaotic. He is just bit bopping along this ship like, oh my god, what is, oh, that's a very ugly color, but okay, I guess I should solve this problem instead of like <laughs> shading their architectural choices. Like, it's just so funny. I am loving it. I am loving it. So, that's really all I have left for you on here. I, I'm just listening to it on the way home in the car, and I can tell we're going to get to a point where I'm like, can't put it down. Gotta keep going. I need to keep hearing what's going on. I need to keep, but I'm not there yet, and I'm just kind of like chilling. I'm just kind of enjoying my time with this, but am I already kind of like looking around for a special edition? Yeah, we'll have to see if I can find one, because I really do. I am enjoying this, and then Spells for Forgetting. I've made it across the 200 page mark. I'm on page 212, chapter 37. So we're this far through and I definitely think that I'm gonna finish this one today, if not early tomorrow during like lunchtime or whatever. So we will then move on to another little bookie book. And I think that I might pick up Song of Silver Flame Like Night because the sequel just came out and it did just arrive at my little Kindle. Or I may be so adventurous and pick up um, the Tahara Mafi book that I have, what is it? The pink one that we still have? These infinite threads. Cause I'm really, y'all, one of y'all commented about how there's like a lot of tension in the next book. <laughs> and Tahara Mafi can write tension, I'll tell you what. Which makes me also wanna go back to the Shatter Me series, but not right now. Cause I wanna record myself reading those last three cause I already recorded myself reading the first three. And was that almost a year ago at this point? Yeah, but I honestly don't think time's real and I wouldn't care if someone had done that because like I'm still like watching them along like what the heck. So I figure y'all won't. Unless you do, then I guess I could just like put it up on Patreon or something. But I, I think it'd be fine. Who cares? I actually want to read, I want to do a vlog reading all the Shatter Me books and then I want to do a vlog reading all of the... <sighs> oh. Mm. Yes, the Cruel Prince series. I want to reread the trilogy and then read the next two. I am first in line for the second book coming out, so that's great. And then I have holds for the other three, so slay. Oh, and the fourth one. Slay, slay. Uh, I also am thinking I'm going to do a ho fast reading vlog, but I think I'm going to leave it Patreon exclusive just because I'm going to do all spoilers and reactions and... It's gonna be the week that I'm not filming for YouTube. Well, the two weeks. Cause there will already be reading vlogs going up. So I don't think anyone's gonna like miss that content or really give a hoot. But yeah, those are the plans I've thought about in my little noggin. And now I'm gonna go film some B-roll stuff I need to do for work and then read. What do you think about that? Well, I'm gonna do skincare cause clearly, <laughs> and then I'll get to reading. <laughs> what? Oh wait, actually, I always say I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, but I'm lying. First and foremost, always. Um, so what's up? You guys, why are you being so nice on this weekly vlog? What's going on? Who put you up to it? No, but really, thank you. Um, y'all are being so nice. And so many are all talking about how much you really enjoy the weekly vlogs. And it's crazy because I'm getting comments like the comments that I leave on people's weekly vlogs. Well, I don't actually leave them all the time because I feel like, why? But then also maybe I should because I really like it and it's nice to see those. So, hmm, much to think about. Probably won't because I'll forget because I'm hungry and my attention is deficient right now. But I just wanna say thank you because everyone's being so nice and I wasn't nervous to put up such a long vlog and I am very nervous to finally cross over the two hour threshold because I do think there will be things said. <laughs> Probably people being like, I cannot watch all this. Um, 
which I used to get intimidated to and be like, oh my god, they're so long, I can't even watch. Not my vlogs, but like other people's. But then I realized if I get, like for example, the one that I, my channel that I really like, her vlog was three hours. Essentially, that's three videos in one. And if I only want to watch 30 minutes a day, that's like six days worth of something to watch while I'm on the treadmill. Have I gotten on the treadmill? No. But I'm just saying in theory. <laughs> So that's how I look at it. So maybe that's how I need to like also think of these. And also, you know what? I could just not give a hoot or holler. So <laughs> maybe I'll do that instead. All right. Do you go outside? You ready? No. Oh, okay. Period. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go. Y'all, I have now used this for a regular latte as well as shaken espressos, and this is a decaf shaken espresso. This is my new favorite vanilla. I liked the Kitty Town coffee, but I did not like Monin. Monin? Mm -mm -mm. This one is good though. The only Monin syrup that I really like is the toasted marshmallow one. But yeah, this is good, and I just got it off Amazon. And it was pretty cheap, so I would recommend it. Hello, it's me, your mommy. Okay, oh. Hi. 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 Um, the hair is up and looking rough because that's just what I put it in after <sighs> six period today. <laughs> you know, so you... I, teachers up there you have that class I know you do and if you don't you're lying I finished this though during lunch and silent review of this book <sighs> that um, interpretation would you like it okay I'll give it to you it was, oh my god, the vibes, the vibes, the vibey, vibey, vibes. <sighs> okay, I'm bored. Oh, it's done. Great. That was it. That was it. It got interesting towards the end, and then they just, like, hard cut to an uh, epilogue that wasn't labeled an epilogue, and I was annoyed that I read it. So that's how that one went. I will spoiler talk about that one with the Patreon blog, but I did come home to this gift which I'm very excited to set up. So I will be setting that up. Uh, but I also came home to a gift accidentally for myself. I didn't buy it this year though, not in 2024. So let me show you. It was a pre-order, Sanctuary of the Shadow. And it's one of the Red Tower editions that they're doing. And this one's about, I was, first I was like, why did I order this? But then, literally the first line, for humans, the circus is a place filled with wonder and amazement. That's why I ordered it, because it's got a frickin' circus. So, yeah. Do I know anything else? No. But this one is only, it's not even 400 pages, and I do indeed like when a fantasy 
romance is shorter definitely on the shorter side so yeah here's this one I'm gonna put it atop all these other books that I have right here and we will get to it but right now what we're getting to is these infinite threads y'all thought I was going to read this I told you trust the process I checked it out three times and fourth time was the charm actually it turns out so I have started this I'm on a whopping chapter two <laughs> I know. Uh, it's fallen apart a little bit on the inside. This is a brand new book, by the way. Library edition. Hello. Of course. Up top. Um, I don't know if this is just a binding issue or if I need to fight a fellow patron. Um, I'll find out. I'll stake it out. Just kidding. I'll break into the computer Da Vinci Code style. It'll be fine. Speaking of Da Vinci Code vibes, I have not read any further in Project Hail Mary. But that's just because I had a neurology appointment today and on the drive home to get on for that, I was anxious and I just didn't want to listen. I wasn't going to focus on a book very well, so I didn't. Uh, other than that, I'm kind of in the mood for an actual thriller since uh, the so-called mystery thriller didn't freaking deliver. So I do have The Night of the Storm pulled up on my Kindle. I don't know anything about this, but the little tagline is everyone in this family has a secret, but is one of them a killer? Spoiler alert, yes. So that'll be my Kindle read if I feel like picking that up. However, I also am so in the mood for some fantasy romance. So do I want to pick up Sanctuary of the Shadow? Do I want to pick up something on my Kindle? Mainly I need a Kindle read. Technically these infinite threads is also a little bit more under the fantasy romance category I would say. So I might get that fix from there but I don't really know yet. But now I can add this book to the shelf. I'm going to put this up. I'm going to get change out of these clothes. I'm actually going to shower I think. And then will be good so let us let us go look at this boy look at this boy all laid up on the bed just hanging out are you hanging out he's so cute look at him his little tail jacob look at this little terror that was waiting for me as soon as i got out ma'am Hi guys, oh, welcome to my yellow crib. As you can see, just got out of the shower and I figured as we have been doing, let's have a little housewives chat. So I have caught up myself on Potomac, Salt Lake City, The Reunion, and then Beverly Hills. And then I'm gonna watch Miami tonight. I decided that I'm not really in the mood to read a whole lot tonight. So I'm gonna let myself catch up on Miami during dinner and then afterwards. And then I'll just read until bedtime just to get me a little sleepy. But enough reading updates. Let's talk about the wives. Let's talk about the husbands. Um, okay, so we'll start with Potomac, which I remember when I first was reading this book called The Beholder. By the way, great book. If you like YA fantasy romance vibes, recommend it. It's fun. It's a, there's a sequel out I haven't read yet, but I am going to go back. It's very much giving like The Bachelor. It's actually like the selection, but not dystopian. More Victorian fantasy-esque. Anywho, I definitely thought it was pronounced Potomac. So Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> As if I didn't attend public school and get an education, and I definitely have heard the word Potomac before, but Potomac. I need either regular Robin or Giselle. One of them have to go. One of them have to go. Also, Candace is starting to get on my nerves. Not gonna lie to you. Karen, I still love her. I think she's doing great this season. I'm really liking it. I did just see a clip of Monique just going in on Giselle, and then Karen being like, will he be here? Of course not. Oh, if you haven't watched Housewives of Potomac, honestly, I highly recommend it. The early seasons are phenomenal. I think it's one of the ones that has the least amount of seasons aside from Salt Lake that I would recommend starting with because it's just, it, they just jump right into the drama, truly. Like none of them are loyal to each other. They do not want friendships. They want airtime and I love that. I think 
If you don't want to watch all the seasons though, definitely start with Monique on this scene because she, I didn't appreciate her when she was around, I think. I didn't, I truly didn't because that was everything to me. That was everything to me. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go back and rewatch that season, not gonna lie. But I, I do recommend that. I think honestly, I actually like Robin, but I cannot stand her when she's around Giselle. Like she's just annoying. I, I don't, I don't enjoy, I don't like, I don't want. So I need one of them to go and by one of them, I just mean Giselle. Like I want her to go so bad, I don't understand why. She's not. When's the last storyline she had? Quickly. Okay. So then we watch Salt Lake City Reunion Part 1. Not gonna lie, kind of a boring one considering, but also let's be honest, next one, next week, when Mary's back, it'll be good. I was talking to someone and they have just binge watched all of Salt Lake City. If y'all know Monty, I'll link him down below. Freaking hilarious. And watching his commentary about Salt Lake City, honestly my favorite crossover I've had all year. So he was mentioning that Mary Cosby should absolutely come back if Monica comes back next season and I kind of agree. Like I don't love Mary but like who actually ever likes the like super entertaining great housewives you know what I mean? Like Dorinda is super entertaining but you know which that's another one I need to watch the uh Roni reunion thingy. I watched the first episode and I was just like, oh, Ramona's here. Let me not be. I'm gonna go back and watch it because Kenya from As Told by Kenya, another channel you all should watch. I'll link it down below. She was mentioning uh, in a video, she did a whole video about it and listening to her talk about it and how much she liked it, I was like, maybe I need to watch that because I feel like just the franchises lately have really been getting into drama that I don't know how to explain it. Like, I... Someone made a meme on Instagram that was like, Real Housewives is for the people that say they don't like drama, but then tune into this drama. Because it's like, not that serious. But things have been getting so serious. People are coming for people's husbands, wives, kids, bank accounts. Well, the bank accounts one, kind of funny sometimes, but not always. And then just, I don't know, like legal stuff and just very intense, not fun, like hee hee things. And so... I would like us to get back to that. And I feel like this Roni thing might be giving that vibe. That's what it was giving me, but I, I haven't watched Scary Island. So maybe I need to go watch Scary Island first and then I can truly appreciate what's happening here. Back to Salt Lake City. See how boring it was? I didn't even remember that I was talking about it. Monica calling Angie a bench warming B was hilarious. She is very quick. She is too quick for the rest of these castmates because they just stare at her like, and then they reboot and then come up with something to say. It is not as funny to watch people spar when only one person is that fast. However, Angie K, not bad, not bad. I actually kind of started to like her during this reunion. I have not liked her since she's been on my screen, but I actually kind of liked her this reunion. I take that back. When they went to Trixie Motel and she made her own shirt, that was hilarious. I liked her then too. I'm excited for next week to see Mary on there. And uh, just the, if you've seen the preview, the way that she speaks, like what she says to Angie, I'm like, no, people just don't, you just don't say things like that. But I'm excited to see her say things like that. And if you have it, I won't mention what it is in case you're one of those people that don't like to watch the preview. Cause normally I don't. Cause I, I, I think trailers, synopsis and TV previews are spoilers. So that's just me. Next up. What's next up? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is getting back to a place where I like. I like to have at least one of my franchises really honestly be more lighthearted, be more about friends, and be more about them just being rich. Because here's the thing. This episode encapsulated, I like when the housewives are relatable emotionally, but not financially. I don't want to relate to you financially. I want to watch y'all in your big old houses with 16 rooms. Y'all remember Erica's house? That was crazy like an Olympic sized pool. For who? Y'all never got in there. The tiles were breaking off. Who was swimming in that? Not my man, not her. But I love to see, I love to see these houses. I just do. I'm liking where it's going back. It was very heartfelt. And the scene when they were at like lunch or whatever that vineyard was together, all laughing, giggling, having a good time. I loved that. This uh, episode made me start to like Kyle a little bit more again. This is how you know it was a good episode. It made me feel for PK. Yes, I'm not a PK fan. I was a Ken fan 
till the day I die. But PK, not really, because he's just a little too, um, you know? Him and Dorit's little therapy sesh, I thought was really sweet, and I don't even like Dorit at all. I like PK more than I like Dorit, I'm not gonna lie. I started to like Kyle again from this episode. Not a whole lot, but enough. And then Crystal, excited to see her activated next season, like next next um, episode. That's gonna be good. And yeah, this definitely solidified that I, my favorite people, I almost said characters, these are people, this is like their life. My favorite cast members, my favorite uh, housewives, are uh, Garcelle and Sutton. And then who, why was Teddy there? That was so embarrassing for Teddy. Like the way that she went up to Garcelle and said, the Nat is here, that what? Teddy go home. Did, were you even invited? Were you actually invited? Or did you just like hide in Kyle's bushes and jump out and get in the car? Be honest, be honest. So I think that's the recap. Now I need to recap on Miami. I did see a spoiler of Julia and Lisa getting into it, and here's the, this must be crazy if you're still listening to this, because I have a lot of people that I really like on YouTube, by a lot, I mean two, that I will listen to them talk about anything. Doesn't matter if I know what they're talking about. Kenya is one of those people, because I just think that she is so funny and clever and her vibe is so good. I, I will, I don't care about the Oscars. I don't give a hoot. I don't give a holla about the Oscars. I think it's the most boring thing ever. Love your awards. I'm a horror thriller slasher movie girl, so I'm never invested in the Oscars. This year's the most Oscar nominated movies I've ever watched. I don't think the nominations are out, so that's probably a misstep there, but Barbenheimer, that's all I've seen. So anyhow, even fathom what it's like to hear me say all these random people's names, a couple cities thrown in there. All this drama between them but you should watch it truly if you want a breakdown i would i'll do that next week if you want like where to start kind of thing i'll make that happen for you guys because i really do think it's a fun show and it's just i don't know it's just like i don't even know if i believe any of the drama is even real like i feel as though it's just guys let's have some drama for the show for the season so we can sign our checks and get another one kind of thing so i think that's also why i like it but i but sometimes like i'll never get into jersey because i don't like that family fighting thing like i don't like it because i think that's real and i don't see any enjoyment in that and they just keep going around and around and i found out that teresa's a taurus and that makes sense even though i do like tauruses she's never gonna back down Moving back, what was I saying? Oh, Lisa and Julia getting into it. First of all, I'm gonna be biased towards Julia no matter what. Has she been wrong before? Sure. Is she gonna be again? Probably. I mean, she's friends with the one I don't like. I never remember her name because I don't like her. Adriana, I think? I don't know, I don't like her. I'm biased towards her because I love her and Martina, so. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, whatever the fight is, she's right and Lisa's wrong. Oh, ooh, she might think this is for Lenny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so tired of that name. I need her to just let it go. Make like Elsa. Let it go. So I think that's all. I think that was our little chat, a little 12-minute moment. Those are all the thoughts that I have. And yeah, I'm going to go get my headphones. Actually, they're charging on the new thing, which is, it looks so cool. I really like it. So I'll have to whip out the other... Uh, ones that I have that are hopefully charged and I'm gonna do that and then I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow if I have any thoughts about Miami. Miami is the thing with Miami is I have not watched the previous seasons I only watched the reboot one that just happened so I may go back and watch those. Sure. Oh also this is a weather update we're just getting really interesting over here. All right, let's check it because it's supposed to be it's 63 degrees right now. What the heck? Tomorrow the high is 56. Saturday the high is 56. Oh, sorry. Sunday the high is 27. I was talking to my neurologist at my appointment and I was like, yeah, I do still have headaches. Although they haven't been migraine status for a while, so. Uh, but I told her I'm probably going to have a big old headache on Sunday, if not Monday, because of there's a drop. That's a 30 degree drop in the high. Okay. And then the high on Monday is 22 with a chance, a 40% chance of snow. 
and the high on Tuesday is a 27. So <laughs> Olivia probably won't be at work on Tuesday because I don't drive when there's ice. No, no, no. Can I drive when there's ice? Yes. Can the rest of Texas? No. No, they can't. So, any who turs. I am gonna go now. I'm gonna let y'all go. I won't hold you here any longer. It's past your bedtime anyway. So, did I mean to get a hot and an iced coffee? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, was this the purpose of limiting myself to only one day a week I can go get a coffee from outside my house? No, I wasn't supposed to double up. I wasn't supposed to do that. But it's so, it's 20 degrees outside. Literally, actually that. So I wanted a coffee that was hot. But then I also wanted one that was iced because I love myself and I love iced coffee. Uh, and I have to do a lot of work during lunch today. So I'm saving the hot one to heat up later. But yeah. Good morning, guys. It's so cold. Also, I did my nails. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? They're like tortoise shell and then a black I think they look really nice. But yeah. Anyways, let's go to work or whatever. We have dinner arrived. Uh, let me dinner tour. Quick, gather round. Dinner tour. So please face down. Thank you. This is a fried rice that I got. It's pineapple fried rice. I'm very excited. We got some fresh, fresh rolls. Oh. And then this is my partner's. Um, I don't know what this is, uh, but I hope that they enjoy it. And then I guess these are just things to go with that. And this is more uh, bean sprouts. No, this is noodles. This is bean sprouts. Yeah. Yeah. Dinner. And now I'm going to scarf this down. I love the Thai place we do because literally half of this is all I can eat. So then I also get it for another day. So it's like a two day special. Mm -mm. And you can hear the dishes going and ginger going, but ginger's been fed. So I don't know why ginger's going, but the dishes are going and y'all know I love that sound. Talk with my hands. Okay. Let's, let's, let's stop doing this now. These are just sitting here. Why Ed's bothering me. <laughs> really? No way. You like this new camera, huh? No, no, you can't have the scissors. That will not go well for me. Let them hear your voice, Bean. <laughs> Sing, my angel. <laughs> that was good. That was a different sound. Yeah, good for you, girl. Good for you, girl. Now what? Oh, you said get to work to buy me more treat pouches. Okay, I will. Hello. I really, you know what I should do? I should set the camera up first and then hit record. But I just feel like, how would I get my super relatable shots if I did it that way? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my God. So I edited the vlog and I realized that uh, pretty much the entire time I was talking about Project Hail Mary at first and then um, whatever the hell else I was talking about when I was sitting at this angle, it was focused right right here. I won't say right here yonder. That's not uh, correct. Anywho. Hi. Sorry. Go scooch on. Scooch on. Bye. Yeah. So I made a little latte. I've now, this is my third coffee of the day. I don't normally do this, but I am sleepy. And I really, really want to read. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna do that. Um, this weekend I do plan to read a bunch on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, because we have Monday off of school. I am gonna, on those three days, record the latter half of my swapping screen time for reading time. So there is a little bit of a gap in between, 
But honestly, because I'm not talking about the books super in depth, it's more like just a fun reading centered lifey vlog kind of thing. If you've never watched one of those vlogs, it's not coming out for a little bit. It's not coming out until February, but like it's a movie. What the fuck? It's literally not that great. Uh, but I'll link the one that I've done before, either above or below. Speaking of a good movie, as above, so below. I love that movie. I will link it so you can see what it's like, but I just really like vlogs like this. Do you guys, I haven't had any of this coffee yet. <sighs> Can't believe. I really enjoy vlogs where people are just reading and living life in general. Uh, I like lifestyle vlogs. I like reading vlogs where we learn about the books, but I also really enjoy, is it the shelf or my head? Like I keep thinking this is the hair that's like going rogue. Maybe I don't need this coffee. Anyways, I really like vlogs. Ginger, quit it. I really like, oh my god, I really like vlogs that are just people reading books, living life, and not specifically, it's not like I don't like it if they, wait, it's not that, wait, let me reboot. Bing! It's not that I don't enjoy it if they do talk about the books and their thoughts and stuff, but I don't care as much because I'm just interested in seeing like someone reading. One of the things, I have a little like, not ritual, because that sounds questionable, but I have like a routine, there we are, a less magical version of that. I have a routine where I get out of a reading slump and it's usually to reread something and watch reading vlogs, like just where people are reading, it doesn't matter. But where reading is the focus, not as much life stuff, because seeing people excited about reading and actually doing it in reading and talking about just being excited about it gets me excited about it. So all that to say, I'm gonna be doing that. Today I uh, used my lunch to edit the first half of this vlog like I mentioned, because I saw that it was out of focus in this other clip, and I really like it. I really like that I did that for myself. Not the vlog. Don't know if it's good yet. Haven't watched it. But I put on some little musical elements. And yeah, I want to look for more jazz that I mentioned. But like more chill coffee shop vibe kind of jazz, you know? So I'll have to do that. But I think for this one, it's a good merriment of classical and then some jazz towards the end. Which I feel like honestly tends to be what I do because it fits the vibe. I try to fit the b-roll music with the vibe and I'm more focused and more classical music kind of things on the weekdays and then on the weekends I'm like let's really have our hair down and listen to jazz. <laughs> I'm 85 so I did want to say I've also started a new releases vlog so I just decided to just read whatever new releases I have. So I have one that's a fantasy romance. It's Sanctuary of Sh the Shadow or something like that. It's about a, it's about a carnival, a uh, circus carnival, whatever. And then I also have The Night of the Storm, which is a thriller. And I decided to start this, and I will obviously talk about more in that vlog, so I won't talk too much about it here. But this, because we're expecting to get like a little bit of a storm, I really think it's just gonna get really cold this weekend, and then maybe it'll rain. Uh, because then we'll ice. Ow. And then I don't have to go to work. Woo! And so then I'll read all day. But this is, it's getting good vibes. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. It's a good little thriller. It's a, definitely a domestic thriller. It's gonna be a thriller of them trapped in a house while Hurricane Harvey wrecks havoc and there's a murderer among their midst. Um, and then I don't know what other ones I'll read, but, you know, we'll have to just keep our peepers open and see. I am gonna actually call my partner because they should be leaving for, from work soon and see what we're gonna do for dinner. But other than that, I plan to read tonight. Just chill. Maybe I'll read some more of these infinite threads too. I'm not really sure. I just am in such a freaking reading mood. I'm kind of in such a reading mood that I don't even know where to start. Do you ever have that? Uh, it's quite frustrating because I really want to read. I just can't seem to like hone in on one book and read it. But that's another thing I'm working on this year is 
not necessarily not reading multiple books at the same time, but not reading multiple books in the same medium at the same time. So one is on the Kindle, one is on the Audible, and then one is on a physical book. And so my physical right now is These Infinite Threads, and then my Kindle is The Night of the Storm, and then my audio is Project Hail Mary. So we're fine there, but I just have so many more I want to get to, and I feel like my brain is like blah, 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 blah. but because I'm filming the screen time vlog, and then also this, I will hopefully be reading tons and tons and tons, and we will be super productive, and I won't go on Instagram Reels, except I'm lying to you right now, because I still have a little bit of time left on my daily allotment of Instagram Reels, and I'm gonna watch it. Dry January didn't go well, we'll try again in February. I don't know what to tell you. Hello, party people. Uh, yeah, it's Saturday. Yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie, but it's hoodie season, and I can wear it the same. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So, just got back from the library. About to go out to see the night swim. So, I wanted to show you the books that I got. You already saw them in the B-roll, but we're gonna go through it anyways. Uh, it's these. Can you see them? The sun in here is not good. So all the light we cannot see. It's a recheck out. Still want to read it. The Queen of Nothing. The Wicked King. These Violent Delights. And The Stolen Air. The only ones I haven't read yet are All the Light We Cannot See and The Stolen Air. So there is a reading vlog coming. You can guess what it is if you'd like, but we're gonna go to this movie now, and then when I get back, I'm gonna do a cute little montage of reorganizing my library hold shelf. And shout out to the librarians in the chat who were saying that it's acceptable for me to check out so many books in the library because I know I check out a lot, but I'm just trying to support my local library. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep her keep her in working order, so. That's why. No other reason. No other reason. But okay, let's go. Let's, let's go.
my girlies. Um, did you like that? Look at all pink. All day. Okay. So, let's talk. First of all, let's get you on my level. So, I've just showered. I do my skincare. Put on my little patches. And I have some book mail and bookish mail. So, the first thing that I have is from Libro FM actually. I guess because I'm a part of like their affiliate thing. So cool. Uh, I got this tote and I think it's perfect. And I love to have a little library tote. And I think I'll keep this one, like I'll actually keep this one in my car so that I don't forget because I don't have one in there right now. And the other thing I got is uh, a another affiliate thing, but it's not really an affiliate. It's I guess on the marketing, not marketing team, what is it called? I don't know, they send me books to read and promote a street team, is that what it's called? I don't know, but this is a new fantasy romance, so yeah. It is called When the Moon Hatched. I know, look how beautiful that is. First of all, it's a chonker. I'm so excited, but yeah, it's this big old one, and look on the back. Yeah, baby. There's dragons. Yes. So I have seen a few things about this. Everything I've seen says it's very good. They also sent me these two bookmarks, which I'm already liking the looks of what's going on there. And they sent me these stickers, which are very, very, very cute. So, yes, I am going to... Put this right here on my stack of my Throne of Glass reread section on these shelves because I want to read them so freaking bad. And then this is from me last year and the other part of the series is getting here too. So that's very exciting. But I have the uh, Fairy Loot Editions of Shatter Me. So I've only read the first three and the novellas that fall in line with those three. And I just think that these are beautiful. I loved them. It's kind of hard to show up on camera to be honest, but the edges and everything, it's so beautiful. There is not a signature on these. I was not fast enough for that, but I think they're still very pretty additions and I love them a lot. And I like how shiny they are. I don't have any books like that. So I think they'll really stand out and be cute. And with my whole goal this year being to uh, get pretty editions of books that I have read and loved and then kind of clear out extra copies and that, not a throne of glass. I'm gonna keep my extras, thank you very much. But I am excited to have these up my shelf. I think they'll look really, really good together. And then, of course, I'll show you guys the other ones when they do arrive, because that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for you for now. I am in the middle of filming the five hours for the screen time swap vlog, and I'm reading The Night of the Storm. I'm about halfway through, still really enjoying it. And then I think I'm gonna pick up The Fury by Alex Michaelides next. And then, oh, my best friend and I are planning to do a Hosab reread. So I'm trying to finish up the screen time vlog and the new releases vlog, get those done. And then I can just read Hosab and then it's just a countdown till January 31st. I have not done very well as I mentioned in the last clip <laughs> on the whole Instagram thing, but I'm gonna try to to go back and do better, okay? Because you know what? You can restart your day, you can restart your week, you can restart your moment anytime you want. I'm gonna do it now. Boop, it's been restarted because I need to. <laughs> I just need to. Plus, it'll keep me not spoiled, which is a very important thing. So, with that in mind, I am going to go eat some dinner, continue reading and doing the new releases vlog, and I will probably see you guys tomorrow, I would assume, for, yeah, I'm looking if there's anything else to update you on with the library. No, I think we've done everything. So, see you guys tomorrow with the uh, Polar Vortex. <laughs> what is that, by the way?
Okay, weird angle, but roll with me here. I got this from Anthropology yesterday. That's where I get all these glasses like this. And I got this one because it looks like Doom Slug from Skyward. It's definitely not. It's a caterpillar. But that don't look like any caterpillar I've ever seen. So it's Doom Slug. I'm sprinting with Jakey. Oh, look how cute he is. And then we have a very messy setup for sprints. But here it is. And I've just gone and made a muffin. And then of course we have a coffee with the Doom Slug mug. I've got this giant camera. See, do y'all see why this giant camera <laughs> would not be conducive to taking in? Like, I can't explain to you. This is such a big lens too. Like, and the mic. It's beautiful. I love it. But it's just... This, I feel like the one that we're on right now is good to take in there. And then we have Jake's toys. And here is the current setup. Look at all those library books. I love it. I'm very excited. These need to be returned. But yeah, now we're gonna get to work. Hello, this is Olivia Rizalante reporting to you live from the polar vortex. <laughs> I'm inside right now. Uh, hi guys. So, yeah, it's cold as hell. <laughs> Breaking news. I've made a second coffee because I am... I already showed you guys. Oh, I forget. I forget. This little stinker is so good. I love Sutton. That's what I've named it. I like to name things because I form unreasonable emotional attachments to items. Uh, not in a capitalist way, in a, my zodiac sign is a cancer, and I was an incredibly sensitive kid. Way. So sudden. I finished, did I already tell you this? I don't know. I'll say it and then I'll edit it out if I did. I finished The Night of the Storm last night, and now I have started The Fury by Alex Michaelides, all for the new releases vlog that will be coming out when I am chilling, not doing a weekly vlog for two weeks. And then I also am going to start this one after The Fury because I figured we would want to do more than just thrillers for the new release vlog. I know not everyone is a thriller reader, so we'll have two thrillers and we'll have a fantasy romance. This fantasy romance is 700 pages though, so probably not going to have multiple. I was wanting to include Feybound in that, so hey, if I can swing it, I will. But the likelihood, because this one's so long... Probably not high. I wanted to talk about this little guy really quick. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This is the little camera that I just got and I've been using. So like pretty much all the B-roll that y'all are seeing is this dude. All the B-roll in this weekly vlog, the new releases vlog, and then the swapping screen time for reading time vlog. All of it is going to be this dude. Some of it I did have to use my big camera just because I didn't have this near me and I needed to get something really fast but for the most part I've been using it and I have been really really enjoying it I think that it is a beautiful little camera it is doing its little job I I'm loving it but the reason I wanted to talk more is because some of y'all were asking um, for a link and I got it from the website 
I don't know if it's on Amazon. If I can fan, find an Amazon link, I'll link that too. But I got mine directly from the website because when it comes to electronics, I'm kind of paranoid. Obviously, save for a Kindle or SD cards or anything like that. Like, I'll get that off of Amazon. When it comes to, like, a big purchase, which a camera to me is a big purchase, I prefer to get them from either Best Buy or the direct brand's website just for warranty and return purposes because I wasn't sure I was going to keep this, I'll be honest. I'm sold on it now. I am going to keep this because I think that the, even the mic quality, I'm not using the external mic in any of the clips where I'm talking and using this dude, and it's actually really good. So it's giving me like the casual come along with me vlog vibes I really want. Like I'm talking old school YouTube kind of vlogging vibes. I really like that. And I watch a few YouTubers that kind of have it. Less, it's not, it's not like it's not put together, but it's a little less polished. And I'm into it. I enjoy it. I think I do it sometimes anyways, but this camera really, I don't know, something about it kind of gives that vibe. And I think it's because it makes it easier to vlog out in public and not feel embarrassed and not get random people in your shot. And also, it's not like a giant camera like this one that I just showed y'all. The like, the full, the full look of it's... This is an eyesore. It's beautiful, but it's huge. And this one is like such a cute little dude. I love it. I didn't want to say. I will link it. I think to me, this is crazy expensive. <laughs> Anything over a hundred dollars to me. I'm like, what? Why? Now, some things like technology things, I do have to kind of like, I look at it. I do some research. I realize, oh, okay. This is kind of like the market price like these cameras are not <laughs> cheap <laughs> is what I've learned especially being on YouTube I have learned very quickly little upgrades and like if someone upgrades their sound quality if someone upgrades their video quality it's costing a pretty penny to do so and I do not mind doing that because I just use the AdSense to like buy these things so basically putting up the videos will help me to like make the videos better. That's my thought process to justify this because I bought the creator bundle thingy. So it's got some attachments to it. It's got an extra battery. It has the mic. It has a little pouch. It has all kinds of things. And I think it was $600. And I was like, oh. okay, just being transparent with the price of things. It is a pretty little penny. I do think, however, that it rivals, most people will recommend the Canon G7X, is it Mark II, I think, which I have used before. And then the Sony V, ZV, something, which I used for a little bit, and it's okay. Um, I think I liked the G7X a smidge more for lighting reasons. So this, I think, is probably like a hundred bucks more. Actually, this might be the same price. And I think I would recommend this if you want to like invest in a camera. I mean, for videos, for vlogging, for whatever, for your own life kind of stuff. I do think that this is like an actual good competitor for it. I'm obviously not a tech channel. Go do your research for sure. This little dude, I kind of wish I had known about. I probably wouldn't have bought those, but those other cameras, I probably wouldn't have used them. I probably would have just gone straight to this because it is small. It is not so noticeable, very manageable. It takes a little bit to get used to like the way that it can track your face and it does move on its own accord for that. It takes a second to get used to that and to get used to moving the gimbal. But other than that, I think it's a great camera. It's just cameras are not cheap. In general, cameras are expensive, I think personally to me. Probably there are some camera people out there that are like, girl, I have a $7,000 camera and I'm sure you do. I know that my grandfather takes pictures professionally and I'm sure I would have palpitations at the price of like his collection of gear for sure. But I just want to do like a little rundown to answer some questions that I got regarding how much it was, my opinion of it, and then links wise. Um, I, again, if you, for whatever reason, like it come, it, it came really fast from the website. Yeah, that's it. But I'm going to go back to sprints now. I'm going to... Actually, I'm using this first hour and a half of the sprint to organize all of my stuff. And then the next hour and a half, and however many we do, we might do one more or maybe two more. I don't really know how I'm feeling. 
Um, I'm going to be reading, reading, reading. My goal is to finish The Fury today and then start on that fantasy romance. So if I don't see y'all again, love you like a friend. And make sure you're drinking your water, especially if you're cold or somewhere cold because, hey, your lips are going to be chapped. <laughs> Mine definitely were trying to be. I had to remedy that. And what else do I say? Oh, be kind. Hello. <laughs> Duh. And have a good day on purpose because you do deserve one. And I'm not, I'm not going to fight you about that. Like, do it. Okay, bye. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.